and daughters from political and slaughter. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us at newly named State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the Cards get set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Zane Gonzalez set and ready to get us started, and off we go now from State Farm Stadium. On the return, it's Kenyon Barner. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the gun, it's Brady. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. On third down, here's Jones. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. A gain of four, not enough, and it looks like punt time on their opening drive as it's fourth down. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Deep for the Cardinals, Christian Kirk. Now a hit and a loose football, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. 20, you got love it, baby. 10. Give me some more. And he returns it to the end zone. A fumble recovery touchdown for the box. And now here is the offense onto the field as their first involvement will be a two-point conversion attempt. Now Brady. This will be caught at about the five. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. Tell you what, they're not messing around. You get the quick touchdown, and then you go for two to go up 8 nothing here on the road. In a sense, they hit him with a big shot right away. You don't throw a jab after you throw the haymaker, right? Go ahead and go for two. They did. They're in control. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 21. He'll look to throw right away. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. On first and 10, here's Murray. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Just not much a quarterback can do there, CD. The pressure was in his face almost instantaneously. Led to a very quick sack. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Devin White able to drop him for a loss of a couple. Another try after the first down sack. Murray, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. They're going for it. It's Murray, and he's going to be taken down here. Back across midfield, three yards away from midfield at the 47. Vita Vea, and that will force a turnover on downs. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. Well, it's a shuffle pass, and it's complete. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll bring up a second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up a second. Now a play fake. Brady. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Isaiah Simmons. He's the culprit, dropping him for a two-yard loss. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now a 
gets intercepted. Picked off by the Alabama man, Drake Kirkpatrick. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. After the turnover, here's Murray. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. And out across midfield, down to the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. To throw, it's Murray. Looking for Fitzgerald, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. The 20. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for a Buccaneer TD. Well, it certainly looked to me like he tapped into the quarterback's thought process there. And what I'm hearing more and more when I go around the league, Defenders sitting in on quarterback meetings trying to learn more about how they think so they can be in the right position to be in the right spot as he was there to pick that one off and take it all the way back for a touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. On the return, here's Edmonds. And able to get this out to the 25. First and 10. At their own 25 yards. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And following the pick six, and they decent field position and throwing that pick six. We'll see. Pressure comes and down he goes. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. After the sack on first down, Murray. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Murray now on first down. Dancing to his left. That's caught. It's Dan Arnold, the tight end. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 16-0. That's the score after one on EA Sports. Murray throwing complete there to Hopkins. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Flushed out right. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. DeAndre Hopkins once again the intended target, but it's going to be second down. To throw again, Murray flushed to his right. He's got his man. It's going to the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray with a touchdown throw to DeAndre Hopkins. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. So he scrambled right, but was able to look back toward the middle of the end zone to find the target. As you know, in this game, sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules because we all know most guys throwing the football are taught never throw back into the middle of the field on a scramble. He did it and got away with it for a touchdown. Instinct sometimes, right? They just take over. Instinct and vision. Sometimes you just see people who are open, you're able to get it to them. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And they will score. It's a pick six. Great Cardinals touchdown. Well, you don't want to coach him, Charles, to stay in the pocket on every play, but I guess that's the danger of getting outside of the pocket, extending a play and making a bad throw. Turns into six points the other way. Yeah, sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your, your vision actually gets obscured a little bit or you narrow it down too much and you don't see all the defenders in the area. Now it's Barner. And they're going to 
to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because... Now and Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 23 yards, the final tally. Murray now, eluding the pressure right. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And this one will be brought back to the 22. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Byron Murphy. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. The Cardinals take over first and 10 at the 24-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That is caught at the 7. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the 5 at the 6. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. On second and goal, Murray. And gives his goal. Touchdown, Arizona. DeAndre Hopkins with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. And this one through the uprights and good. 21, Buccaneers, 16. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Bucks take over first down. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 36 yards on the play. Brady now on first down, rolling to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. They were trying to go to Brown once again, but it'll be second down. Jones. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Now the Cards going to call another timeout. They're second. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Throwing is Brady on third down. Escaping the pressure. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by the Alabama man, Dre Kirkpatrick. And they will score. It's a pick this six for the Cardinals touchdown. They were in a very good position to come up with a go-ahead score there. A really good drive. Instead, it turns into six points going the other way. Psychologically, I don't know what that's going to do to them. So as a coach, you're looking at that as at least a 10-point swing, right? Because they had the field goal in their back pocket. They certainly did, and you're right. At least a 10-point swing, maybe more. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded right around the eight. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They have to be better with the football on this position. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. That catch good for only a couple. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. The cards go a nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Again, it's Brady. They'll roll him out right. It's into the hands of his running back, Ronald Jones. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And how about this, a fake? And he's going to let it go deep. And this is caught. And the fake will work. He's going to have a first down. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Into the red zone. It's Brady. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately... Had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Seven play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Pretty good job escaping the pressure. Gets him 15 yards on the scramble, but now it's fourth down. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to him. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. Now Murray being chased out left. Going deep for Hopkins. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked off at the 45. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. football first as the second half gets started on the return here's Edmonds and nowhere to go he only makes it to the five well not exactly a banner return so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with they've got to go a long way now to try and score some points I do know this from experience there will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field Here's Murray, back near his goal line. And his pass, incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Yes, sir. How about an out-of-boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. All right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. 
That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. So after the INT, it's Brady. And he'll get that to Fournette complete. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Caught on the right side by Jones. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. From the gun, it's Brady. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brady on target to Gronk. First down, Buccaneers. Brady's throw there complete. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. One yard gain brings up second and nine at the 19-yard line. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now Brady again, sliding out of the pocket, and he slings one that's incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver, and now it's third down. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Brady to throw again. That's out to his running back, Fournette. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, Ryan Suckett now for the Buccaneer field goal. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal. The punter Pinion now to kick this one away. On the return, here's Edmonds. Well, he's going to be brought down inside the five at the three. Well, not exactly a banner return, so he doesn't give his offense a whole lot of room to work with. They've got to go a long way now to try and score some points. I do know this from experience. There will be a few comments muttered his way by the offense as they head out on the field. zero and this is not the way to start a drive they were already backed up now they're backed up further i think they were being so careful to make sure all assignments were covered that they end up running themselves out of time
Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Well, they're inching closer and closer here to the wrong goal line. When you're backed up like that, all you're trying to do is make sure you don't give up a big play, right? You don't miss an assignment that really gets you into more trouble. 